This video will be to illustrate the Talon Quick Release Disconnect Plug installation. The first step in this process will be the removal of the housings surrounding the control board and the motor of the Talon. To start the process, we're going to remove the cowling that covers the control board of the Talon. Before we started this process, I've already removed four screws from the back side of the cowling that attach the two pieces together. So we'll remove these two screws from this side, and it's important that they remain in the same holes because the screws are different lengths. Now to remove this half of the cover, we need to remove this plastic cap from the hex drive. And now we'll remove these two screws from the cowling that go into the aluminum extrusion to complete the removal of the cowling. Since we're going to be removing the power cable, you'll want to go ahead and remove the P-clip retainer from the extrusion now at this point. Be sure to retain this P-clip because you'll be using it once you have the new cable in position to retain it. Next, we're going to remove the heat shrink from this white wire, this black wire, and this green wire. Once we've done that, we can disconnect those wires and then begin the replacement of the accessory cable. Before discarding your old cable, be sure to retain the fuse holder cap and the fuse itself. These do not come with the accessory and you'll need to reuse those. At this point, you can route the wire beneath the motor and then underneath the control board to make the connections on the spade terminals. With older generations of Talon, we'd use the three short pieces and not the long one. In this case, for Bluetooth Talon, we're going to use one long and two short. You want to put your heat shrink in position over the wires before connecting the terminals. The long piece of heat shrink goes over the green wire and the short ones go over the white and black. Now you can make your connections. For the white and the black wires, it'll be helpful to use a needle nose pliers to make sure that they become fully engaged. Once they're engaged, you can slide the heat shrink into position over the receptacle. Apply heat to close the shrink. Now we can reattach the P-clip to the extrusion to retain the cable in position. It's important that the P part of the clip be facing towards the control board so when you put the cowlings in position, it won't interfere. Start by installing the motor cover first, putting those two screws back into position, remembering that the shorter screw goes towards the top of the talon. It's important to make sure that your new cable drops out the mouse hole of the bottom of the motor cover. Next, you can install the control panel cover, making sure that the lip goes underneath the motor cover and that the buttons are properly aligned. During this whole process, you'll want to make sure that none of these wires get pinched in between any of the covers or the screws. And then you can replace the rubber cap that goes over the hex drive. Now you can take the resettable fuse that you took out of your previous power cable and put that back into the new fuse holder and then replace the cap. For more information regarding Minn Kota products, product user manuals, and compatibility information, please visit MinnKotaMotors.com.
You can also check out the Minkota Tutorials YouTube channel for more instructional videos on maintenance and repair.